Hi everybody, welcome to my latest video. I'm going to be taking a first look at Inquisitor Martyr. This one is very much like Diablo, um, from what I understand. I've not played it myself, I picked it up today, um, and it was released today. So this is literally a first look at the PS4 version um, that I will have seen. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to like it. I like the Warhammer universe, I like Diablo style games. Um, and from what I saw on the PC version, which has been out for a little bit, it's got some interesting, um, how should I say, mechanics to it. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm sure it will. I'll talk you through as much I'm going to be learning. So I'll talk you through as much as I can remember from the PC version, although I would imagine this is going to be completely different. But we will see. Oh, okay. I've got to create an account. Um, I'm not going to bore you with this, so I'll uh, I'll do this now. I'll skip forward and I'll see you when I uh, get past this. Right, okay, guys. Um, that's the cr account created. Um, yeah, long-winded process and loads of personal information. So uh, let's get to creating a character and get into the game, shall we? So let's go. Come on. Right. Psycho Assassin Crusader. I always like the look of Crusaders because I like to be more of a tanky sort of character. Um, I like in, well, basically they've tried to pick three different classes. You've got your warrior class, you've got your rogue class, and you've got your wizard class. So your Psyker are your wizards, your assassins are your rogues, and then these guys are the warriors. Luckily they are split down into three subsections. So basically what you've got inside is you've got your... Heavy gunners, so your heavy weapon specialist, you've got your standard uh, fair with support tactics, and you've got your melee. Now, I believe in each class you've got the same sorts of things, so... Yeah, basically you've, you've got your ranged, your tank, and your um, supporting type class in each one. So yeah, sniper, twin swords, and heavy weapon yeah all, all about the same relic armor interesting I'm gonna stick with what I know though I'm gonna go for the uh, Crusader and I'm gonna go for assault okay story mode or challenge I haven't played it before so I'm gonna see what story mode means I've heard that when you play multiplayer you can only play non-campaign. Um, I haven't heard anything about the difference between story and challenge. I'm assuming challenge is just a higher difficulty, but we'll see. Right, I'm going to call it Lucian. Lucian. Yeah, okay, there we go. Why hasn't that changed? That should have changed by now. There we go. That's a bit of a delay, sorry about that. Now let's get into the game. And I'm sure it's going to be really good fun. Xenos races. Now, not that it's very interesting for those people who don't know or don't care about the Warhammer universe, but the most commonly known fighters or warriors in the Warhammer universe are the Space Marines, and they are hugely powerful. But what's less known is Inquisitors, although they are wearing power armor, are actually standard humans. They're not Space Marines. Interesting one because they do seem in some cases to be more powerful than Space Marines, which I never understand. But we'll we'll see how they play out in this game because um, if if they are as weak as hell, it's going to be uh, interesting. But if they are more powerful than Space Marines, I'd like to see how they uh, how they deal with that in a gameplay mechanic. When the tide of the surges swept through the sector, there is no response to our hailing signals. Now that's a big ship.
Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? <laughs> Nothing is ever abandoned. They should know that. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Wow. Okay, that was a short game. <laughs> oh, the survivor. Look at that, I've survived. That's good to know that I didn't die within the first two seconds. Long load times. Very long load times. I suppose as long as it's good, it doesn't matter. Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log, in case I don't return. Inquisitorial log, new entry. Let's go. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy Okay, fire. so I can't I uh, attack anything. Weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. Ah, that'll be why, because I've got no equipment. I will pray for him later. I was expecting to find some sort of chest around here. Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks, but having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door. Yeah, open up, god damn it. I'm a bit concerned I've still not found anything to uh use as a weapon. Hmm. An ancient cogitator. Hmm. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Now, if you want to skip ahead, because I do like to read these things, because it gives me background. So if you do want to skip ahead, then, you know, feel free. Just as I suspected, it's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. New log entry. I have found some human remains. Nice. It seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed them with mindless brutality. Something or some things, because if that's one thing, I'm a bit scared. Oh, yes. yes. A weapon. The perfect weapon to deliver the Emperor's justice. Well, I wouldn't say the perfect weapon. I'm sure you can find something better. Although, as I am an assault class, it's going to be a power sword, a power hammer, a chain sword, or the two-handed versions of those. 
I don't think there's many other things. Creature of chaos. Can Let's you get this on. Okay, my health's not going down very much. Maybe story mode was a little too easy. Did I see a greatsword through the wall then? Yep, I did. I saw a greatsword through the wall. Let's cleanse the taint then. New tutorial. Oh, cool. So, like Diablo 2, um, you could have two weapon sets, so you just pressed W when you were playing on the the PC on Diablo 2. Um, this allows you to swap between two different weapon sets. That's quite useful, actually. Although, I'm not sure I'm going to have um, a hev two heavy weapons, or should I say two melee weapons. I might stick a ranged weapon in my second slot eventually. I'm not sure, but I might do. Also, a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the box jammer. I won't say it too many times, but as I said before, if you do want to skip past this, then feel free. Um, as far as the gameplay is concerned, I mean, I've only killed that one creature, but it appears you're skills are related to the weapon you're using rather than the character you've got so your actual active skills I mean so for instance my sword um, when I've got a sword and shield I've got my sword with um, the first two I think it's X and R2 so X is like your standard attack and then R2 is like your swing a sweep attack but then the next two are like it appears to be block and then um, I, found a new uh, I think there is circle a is like a shield bash it slam it into the ground sort of thing um, and now I seem to have different because I've got my great sword equipped I've got same standard attack then heavy attack X and R2 but then I don't know what those other two are one appears to be like a spinning attack but just destroy all this chaos come on open server the open it is in the walls now everywhere taint in the machines by the emperor what foul abomination is this? <laughs> wow. Talking servitor. It might be mind locked, but this is still unusual. Excellent things to fight. More than one thing to fight as well. Let's see how this goes. Well met, heretics. It is time for you to die. So I'm thinking now it's got more than one and they're ranged. I'm going to get a little overwhelmed with the old damage. But, to, no. I'm really not getting overwhelmed with the damage, am I? Destructible objects. Do I want to look? No, I can't be bothered. If things are destructible, they're destructible. You just break them and move on. Nope, nothing hidden in here. Finally, 
That's the cogitator that will disable the jammer. Excellent, let's go then. I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Van Winter. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. What? Wow, you can't hear the uh, Your captain. Is quite admirable, captain. Ah, I wonder if it's because I've got it coming through the controller. Okay. Well, I will uh, post another video, but that'll be it for the first look. Not very good, so I'll probably post a video quite quick. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.